Welcome to my first video from Canada. I am so excited to be finally uh, standing here being like, guess what, I'm in Canada. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you may have missed the fact that I have been here for almost a week already. I've been posting photos and stories of all the things that I get up to over there. So make sure you go and follow me over there if you wanna keep up to date with everything that is going on. But today I am doing a new apartment tour because it is all I've heard about from you guys for like the last three or four days. So here I am, I'm gonna share with you the beautiful apartment Apartment that I'm staying in. It's an absolute dream. So I didn't style this place. I have absolutely no idea where anything is from. If you recognize anything and can tell me where it is from, that would be great. But this is an apartment that I was just lucky enough to find as beautiful as it is. So I'm going to go around and show you my new place and how beautiful it is. And I'm so excited to start making more videos and getting on with things now that I'm here. So let's get to it. I'm going to start with the hallway looking back at the main door. So they've got these beautiful frames up on the wall. They're kind of a brassy gold tone. There's a big theme of gold in this apartment, which I absolutely love. Everything's very neutral and gold, but the light fittings are gold. They have this beautiful piece of furniture here in the hallway with two baskets and cushions, a white lamp, a little clock, this round mirror, which I think is really, really beautiful. Some decor pieces here. This little bench at the front with some boxes for storage, which is great. I don't have anything in them. A couple of cushions and then these super practical and fabulous wall hooks. So I have my bag hanging on one, a hat on the other one, and then this is just a blanket that was already here hanging up, which I think is really cute. I have started storing some stuff in these drawers. So I have a lot of receipts and paperwork in the first one. In the second one, I've actually got my accessories. So some hair accessories and some of my jewelry. And then in the last one, I have stationery, which uh, will be very helpful as it gets closer to the new year. Next is the bathroom. So there's a shower off to the side here, a place to hang towels, Laundry is in this cupboard. They have these two frames that have nothing in them. A cute little plant on the toilet. And then over here is the sink, which is super cute. I've got toiletries and products up in this cupboard here. And then there's a couple of drawers down here for storage as well. Next, I'm coming into the bedroom. And as I said, everything is super neutral and white and bright. It's absolutely stunning. There is this beautiful beige bed frame or bed head, which is stunning. White neutral pillows and bedding with a little throw on the end. They have these two really cute little bedside tables, which I'm not sure where they're from, but they do kind of look like the Ikea ones. They also have these two bedside tables that are gold and white marble. And then there's also this little guy, which is a flamingo. And it's kind of funny because I have a little gold flamingo statue back home in Melbourne. On the wall over here, they have these two hexagonal shelves with books. And I don't actually know what's on the top one, maybe a candle. And then down in the corner there's a little basket with a cushion in it and they also have this cream nude rug and then over here I have my wardrobe as well on to the living space and the kitchen so this is the most beautiful kitchen I've ever seen in my life they left some fresh hydrangeas which was absolutely lovely although this one at the back is a little worse for wear and I think this one's kind of dying too, but the front one looks beautiful. They have this little piece here, like a wooden tray with a candle and a little gold metal thing. Again, gold accents with neutrals. They have these three stools, which are super stunning. Oven, cooktop, really cute kettle. And they even have a Curtis Stone cookbook, which is funny because if you don't know who Curtis Stone, he's an Australian chef. A little fake plant and a wooden chopping board. They have this container, which is full of tea. Some coasters, a hand wash, a marble, what do you call that, chopping board or serving platter. And then they have the paper roll holder in the corner. And then this mug is actually mine. Yes, I brought it with me because I wanted to take some flat lays. I had to bring at least one mug with me. Underneath, they have the microwave. There's a dishwasher. Everything has these beautiful gold handles. Under the sink is rubbish and cleaning products. And then some pots and pans in that bottom drawer down there. And then up here, you know, you just have plates and cups and all that sort of thing. Over this side on the island behind me, I've turned it into a little bit of a pantry. These two are the fridge and the freezer. I've already done some grocery shopping, so I've got quite a lot of food in there. Back over this side, there is a dining table with these white and wooden legged chairs, white dining table, a cute little centerpiece. And then these two back chairs have some fur thrown over the top of them 
background and then there's also some prints on the wall as well as well as this stunning full-length mirror which makes life very easy when trying to get ready the living space is stunning it's late afternoon at the moment and the sun comes into this room all day which is amazing so a white marble with gold legged coffee table and a few pieces on top this nude colored couch with some white slash cream throws and cushions over the back which I really like this is a white little bookshelf and it has a couple of decor pieces on it funnily enough these two taller candlesticks are very similar to my absolute favorite candlestick that I have from H&M so I thought that was kind of funny and then there's a beautiful print up there as well and then also there is this giant gold and white lamp that hangs over the top it's super bright so I think it's very cool it's the most cozy cute little living space and then behind me you can see they have this nude rug on the ground they have a basket with a cushion an adorable little chair with a cushion and then the TV unit which is white and wood with a few little decor and accessory pieces up here as well and then the TV is mounted onto the wall so that's pretty much it for this little apartment tour you can tell that I absolutely love it in here because it is so beautiful I love it in here and I will be posting more photos on Instagram if you would like to keep up with that and yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this little uh, apartment tour and I have loved living here so far and I just know I'm gonna love it for the rest of the year and I also am doing just a little bit of fall styling because I have never got to do that before we do not have any fall festivities in Australia when it's autumn in what April May March all that we don't do it so I have never in my life ever been able to decorate or be festive for this time of the year so I have picked up a couple of pieces and I am going to style some things up I've already think I've posted one little photo on Instagram so maybe go and check that out but yeah I'm just so excited to kind of you know make this place a little bit more my own as well as working with what I've already got so hope you guys have enjoyed the video up the top you can check out my last video down the bottom I'll leave a link to another one and I will see you in my next one